Hey everybody and welcome back to Embered. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to talk about how to see your files. So it doesn't matter what the what the file is called, we want to see the image of the files. Now I kind of went over that in the last video so if you haven't watched it it's called how to see your files and we're going to do something different today a different way to see your files now i am in embered basic so embered basic consists of the manager where you manage all your files and editor where you can edit your files now we're in manager today and we are going to set up our iconizer so go to options and right here this is what you want it's called iconizer settings you the the shortcut is shift control I click on that and this screen comes up now this looks pretty confusing but it isn't let's go over it so it tells you from the list below select the file types that you would like Ember 2018 to open when you double click on them in Explorer so if you're looking through Explorer and you see a design you double click on it and it's gonna automatically open it up, open Embered up and you can to that design so you can see it. So you can go through and pick out whatever ones that you want or you use. Now notice in here that they're images as well. So BMP, all of these ones are all images. So if you don't want to see them images, then you will have to, you know, go through the ones. So just select the ones that you want. Personally, I have images open up in Photoshop, but if you want to see them, open them up here. So click, you can select all, you can remove all. So if you click a whole bunch and it's not working for you, remove all and go through and pick the ones that you want. So super handy for that, um, easy to see, and that'll help you get into Embered really quickly. Now this is a little bit different. From the list below, select the file types which you would like Iconizer to generate icons when you see them in Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer is the little folder that hopefully you have on your taskbar or when you go to the Windows button you'll see it and it's basically your file explorer so you can explore all the files on your computer so what this is going to do this iconizer so an icon is a picture so if you want to see what designs look like on your computer without opening Embered, the iconizer is what you want to do. And if you don't have any things selected, I don't because I have like five embroidery softwares on my computer, so it gets confused. So I just leave the iconizer off and I have E4 and I use the library for that and it does everything that I want but I'm not thinking that everybody has all the software that I have. Now you can go here to typical settings and it will just give you a generic thing. Do you see how that that uh, filled in everything for me. So all the basic embroidery software up here. And it also did here as well. So look, it clicked off uh, other, what is that? Brother cutting machines, yep, the files for that. All your basic embroidery files and pictures and you can do whatever you want. So if you want, Ember to generate your pictures, then click it on right there. So enable icons, enable thumbnails, you can actually see them. So enable thumbnails is what we want. And you can enable icons too. So you can remove, so we have shortcuts here, select all, enable iconizer for all. Why not? If that's what you're using, you can view and do everything in Embered, or you can remove them all. So you can also go through here and this is the size of the ones that you want. So if you want to make it, I would just leave it if you don't understand it, but if you want to make the pictures bigger, you can do it here, but just for now. So image size affects the size of design image appearing in the pop-up menu. So that's just going to show you a little more clearly. And I'm going to, I'm going to show this to you shortly. So select image type files. These are other shortcuts, remove image type files. Instead of going through everything, you can just remove the image ones. Uh, you can remove the quilting fi file types. I don't have a quilting 
anything so I don't really need it and you can verify these files associations when starting Embered and all that means is that Embered is going to go through all of these and just double check everything and make sure everything's working when you're starting up Embered it only takes a minute or two so I would recommend putting that on you don't have to you definitely don't have to so um, 3d drawing color list show jumps if you want to see the jumps in your little picture you can put that on I don't really color list is kind of handy 3d drawing for sure absolutely for sure so I'm gonna click on my little folder and I'm gonna show you what I see so I've gone into creative Kiwi designs now this is your path where you are and yours won't say this it's going to be a little bit different I have a different computer set up so yours is gonna say probably C and then if you made a folder which I encourage everyone to do make some folders keep yourself organized and I have one specifically for creative Kiwi then I go in and I make folders for everything so it's so much easier so if I want to look at the beer mug coaster I can go in and do that now if you can't see the icons like this then you click on view and you can go to large icons medium icons if you have a slow computer it's going to take longer the bigger the pictures that you do so I'm just going to click on that and look you can really see what your designs are if you need to see it bigger by all means make it bigger but if you have you know 50,000 designs it's going to take a little while to go through and you can see each and every one now this will come in this is because I have PE design on my computer and I didn't enable the iconizer because I don't need it and my computer gets confused but it'll work exactly the same so you can see your designs clearly now if I wanted to take a design and I don't want to do anything to it I just want to send it to my machine you can do it from here from file explorer you just right click and you send to and then you pick the drive that your machines on or your USB and that's easy enough and I'm going to show you guys how in the next video how to do this but just so you know you don't have to have any software open to send to your machine and now you can see your files so you can have fun going through all of your folders and your organization so hopefully that'll give you guys some shortcuts on how to see your designs and it's super handy um, I love to go through them and just kind of look at all the designs it's inspirational it's kind of fun what am I gonna do today oh the pineapple coaster and you don't have to worry like the ones I don't have in a folder that it's a pretty good description from creative Kiwi not all digitizers are like that but you know it's the five by seven spider but I think this is even better glasses case now I named them myself when I unzip them and it just makes it really easy to find everything so I do need to organize my creative Kiwi folder just a little bit I haven't done it yet I've done half of it I'm gonna do the rest so keep everything organized enjoy looking through your designs be inspired have some fun and get stitching faster so thanks everybody for watching I hope you guys like this video I hope it helps you to see your embroidery designs and snoop through everything that you have thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video